The city of Worcester kicking off the holiday season tonight with its annual Festival of Lights celebration. Thousands are expected to gather on the common for what the city says is their biggest event of the year. Our Olivia Lemon joins us live now from downtown with more on tonight's festivities. Olivia. Yeah, you know, Brittany, they say it's the most wonderful time of the year, and you can definitely see that tonight with all of the festivities happening on the Common. Just a couple minutes ago, we had Worcester Public Schools singing some carols to us. Joining us now is Superintendent Maureen Benenda to talk a little bit more about those students who were performing. Yes, uh, it was such a great night tonight. We had three of our schools performing, Rice Square, uh, Burncoat Prep, and Burncoat High School. And for our students, they were so excited. They were waiting in City Hall. Uh, so excited talking to each other can't wait to get out and to perform and it just shows that how important music is and also how important it is to share with our community so it's been a great night and the children are very excited to be here and to been invited to, to this festival of lights for the Worcester for the Worcester and for the Worcester public schools awesome well thank you so much and this is one of those events that kind of takes quite a bit of time and prep work going into it we caught up with the preppers earlier today to talk about all the work that they did Worcester crews are hard at work Friday setting up for the city's annual Festival of Lights celebration. It takes a couple of days really to get the common ready to start setting up the lights. So but really it's a full day leading up to the opening of it. The city's Amy Peterson says it's their largest event of the year. They are expecting four to five thousand people to attend. We work closely with the Worcester police. We in public safety. Uh, we've communicated to all of our neighbors um, and the property owners. A lot of them are actually involved in the festivity. Nearby businesses like the beer garden say they are bringing in extra staff tonight to help serve the influx of customers. We always staff up. We anticipate obviously a little more business than, than might be normal particularly for that time of the day. General Manager Seamus Caffrey says it's a great event to bring people out to check out all the new things in the city, including the beer garden, which opened in September. Certainly a benefit to bring people into the area and bring people downtown. Uh, this way, everybody's able to kind of show off the best that they have to offer, but also, you know, really kind of builds a really great community. Tonight's celebration includes a visit from the World Series trophy, ice skating, live performances, and of course, the tree lighting. So there's a lot of activities um, and festivities for people of all ages. And you heard Amy Peterson mention all the safety measures they are taking to make sure all of these hundreds of thousands of people here on the common are safe. Right now we can see the Worcester Mounted Patrol Unit, even the neighborhood response teams are here keeping an eye on everyone to make sure the events here at the Oval are safe. At the Worcester Common, Olivia Lemon, Worcester News Tonight.